Wow. That was, uh, that was a long two hours. That was the longest two hours of our lives, I think. That was, uh, that was quite, quite special. And for those that are still waiting, we have uh, confirmation that we've made contact with all four of the O3B satellites. So that's... Uh... So, ladies and gents, um, today is the 25th of June, 2013, and today we launched O3B. O3B was conceived in 2007 in the jungles of Rwanda by our founder, Greg Weiler, who imagined uh, a way of delivering affordable bandwidth, not just to the people of Rwanda, but to the billions of people around the world who are not connected to the global internet. And here today, in the jungles of French Guiana, we launched O3B. I want to pay tribute to everyone who's made that possible, everyone who's been on this spectacular journey with us so far. You know who you are. Our shareholders, our investors, our lenders, our partners, Thalassolinia Space, Jean-Luc, your particular involvement and that of your whole team is hugely appreciated. And Stefan, for that remarkable demonstration of, of power and beauty, I, I will never grow tired of seeing satellites launch. To the uh, magnificent, inspirational, and beautiful team at O3B, you are by some distance the best team I've ever worked with. And in particular, right now, to Brian, to Bob, to Andreas, to the, to the whole technical team, it was just an absolute class act. And I'll, I'll never see a team pulling together in quite that way again, I suspect. To everyone who's given us a helping hand along the way, however large or small, but most of all, I really wanted to thank our customers, a number of whom have, have traveled all this way to be with us here, our O3B pioneers, our band of brothers, for the last few years, our life at O3B has been about building stuff. We've been building satellites, we've been building ground stations, we've been building infrastructure, we've been building our company. And from that day, from today, that all changes. From today, our business is about you guys. Our chairman, John Dick, spoke very eloquently on the film about the fact that he could see the day when O3B was the largest satellite company in the world. I sincerely hope he's right, but until that day, one thing, that O3B, one, one thing that O3B will be is your company, our customer's company. We will be the best, we'll be the most responsive, we'll be the most reliable, we'll definitely be the most fun, and we aspire to be the team that you choose to work with, and we will do that every day from this day. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in an extraordinary time. I don't believe that any of us would trade this time for any previous generation. We have access to spectacular, exponential technologies that drive our world and improve our lives. The internet is now established as the key infrastructure that supports every section of the economy and is a fundamental driver of innovation, productivity, and economic growth. It's the most transformational technology of our time, and yet this transformational technology is not available to everyone. There's over two, there are over two billion people in the world who are connected, and over the next 10 years, a further three billion will connect for the very first time. Three billion new minds that we've never heard from before, connecting to the global conversation. What will they, what will they need? What will they want? What will they consume? What will they imagine? Online, people will become healthier, more educated, have access to markets, information, and technologies impossible to have imagined only five years ago. We're living through an extraordinary time. As our customers reach out further and further into the remote and rural communities and populations of the world, O3B will provide the critical infrastructure to connect, to reach further, and to do more. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the 25th of June, 2013, and today we launched O3B. The energy, the faith, and the devotion that we put into this in endeavor will light our company, and the glow from that fire will help light the world. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, what an emotion. Usually we have one satellite to take care, one geo satellite. Today we had four satellites to take care, so my emotion was four times bigger than usually. Uh, so I am a little bit less relaxed than uh, Stefan and Steve because uh, the work of my team is just, uh, is just beginning. Uh, 
So far, I have uh, very good news. Uh, at least the two first satellites, we have all the parameters of those two satellites, and all those parameters are positive. The solar arrays have been deployed. So uh, the two first ones are fully okay. The two second ones, we are still lacking some information, but it seems that uh, those two are also in a very good shape. So probably in uh, some minutes, I can confirm to Steve that uh, the four babies are uh, really, really in a good shape. Um, I would like to, to thank uh, Ariane Espas and Stéphane first. Uh, he has made, a, they have made a fantastic uh, job once again, a new success. It seems, uh, it seems so simple to, to have success, but uh, as an engineer, uh, we know that it's not so simple. So it's, uh, thank you, thank you very much to Ariane Espas, but also to its partner, Roscosmos, especially with uh, this uh, fantastic rocket uh, Soyuz and all, all of the partners of Ariane Espas, uh, ISA and, and CNES, which made today, as, uh, as always, a fantastic, uh, a fantastic uh, job. Uh, I would like also to warmly thank uh, O3B and Steve, and a special thanks also to Brian. Uh, Brian has made uh, fantastic job in Rome and in, uh, in Cannes during those two last years, and I can tell you that all the employees of, uh, of Thales and Inia Space appreciate the professionalism of, uh, of Brian and of uh, all your team, uh, Steve. So you have to order a lot, a lot of new satellites in order that we can continue to work with Brian and with you, Steve. Uh, so thank you, thank you for your, uh, for your trust uh, to make us uh, part of this uh, fantastic journey of Ruby. Uh, again, when I say, when I, I already said that it's uh, just the beginning of uh, the work of my team, but so far so good, we will have uh, two weeks of uh, layup uh, and then uh, three or four weeks of uh, in-orbit test, and uh, around, in around six weeks, we will hand over the, force, the four first satellites to, to O3B. And we'll have uh, another launch uh, around, uh, around mid-September for the next four satellites. Uh, to conclude, I would like, obviously, to warmly, warmly congratulate all my team uh, here in, uh, in Kourou, there are uh, some, uh, some people with Philippe, obviously, the, the head of the, of the TAS team, with Virginie, with Carlo, and all the Italian team who, who are in, in, a, in a building just close to, to here, and also people in Cannes, because now it's people in Cannes who are taking care of the satellites, and they, they will uh, work all, uh, all the night today in order to control the, the first four uh, satellites. I would like also to thank uh, uh, the French uh, uh, Finance Ministry uh, and COFAS, who has uh, funded this uh, program. Uh, a special thank, they are always with us, and uh, I think there are two, two people of COFAS today in this, in, res, in this room. Thank you, thank you for their uh, continuous uh, support to, to Thales Alenia Space. So it has, been, uh, it has been a fantastic day. It's not totally over, Steve, uh, but uh, I think that the bulk, has been, uh, the bulk has been done and we can enjoy now. Thank you. Thank you. Eh bien, mesdames, messieurs, rebonsoir. Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. So we've seen the recent success of Soyuz from French Guiana that went up into a perfect uh, orbit for the first four spacecraft of the O3B constellation. And on behalf of the CNES, I'd like to say how delighted we are to witness such a new success for Soyuz from the CSG. Let me remind you that it's the fifth Soyuz success in French Guiana from the CSG and the fourth success of this year. This launch, as if we needed to, to see this once again, highlights the success of the European launch program, the brilliant success of a major cooperation between Europe and Russia. 
It's the success of a tremendous idea, which was to bring Soyuz to this site close to the equator in French Guiana. But above all, this shows once again the success, the professionalism, the expertise of all of the men and women who've invested in this launch, because uh, working on a launch, seeing it through to the end, is never easy. And today, the final day of the chronology, it was uh, necessary to deal with some very difficult weather situations. So I'd very much like to congratulate everybody from ESA, from the Launcher Directorate, to CNES, Ariane Space, industry, European industry, the Russian teams from uh, Roscosmos and the Russian industry as well. Thank you for having uh, given us this innovative launch system. It's innovative because the launch pad is European and the launcher is Russian. And it's all part of a partnership that uh, is constantly proving its worth. I'd also like to congratulate the CNES teams, the people working here at the CSG and the industries here. Uh, who've pulled out all the stops to make sure that this unique facility that Europe has is always ready to satisfy the requirements of the European Space Programme and uh, the needs of the launch operator. It's so reliable and so safe and secure at the same time, and all of this uh, at the same time respecting the environment. The CSG has three different launch systems that have been operating this year, which shows how able it is to respond very quickly with the full flexibility necessary to customers' requirements. And lastly, I'd like to congratulate the customer, O3B and uh, Thales Elenia Space, its partner, for having successfully seen through the satellite to campaign, which made it possible to go ahead with the launch in such excellent conditions. You know, you've now got four babies up in the, the air. You're going to have to take care of them, and I hope that the uh, younger siblings will come along soon. Your idea, which is to grant internet access to some three billion people, thanks to this constellation, is a wonderful idea. And uh, if I take a look at your T-shirts, I see that it says, the journey begins. I really honestly hope that at the end of the journey, you will only enjoy success. So thank you for coming here to the CSG, to French Guiana, for having made your idea a reality in space. Thank you for the trust you placed in us. I hope you've enjoyed working here. We have certainly been happy to have you with us and to share your enthusiasm. So come back again. Thank you once again and congratulations. Just a few final words, so to, to thank and to congratulate uh, uh, everybody, all the teams. Uh, so the next uh, INS Pass launch will be uh, here in Guyana on July the 25th. It will be a very important launch because we are going to launch for in Marsat uh, AlphaSat, which is a, a great project supported uh, by, uh, by ESA and uh, will has been built by TAS and uh, Astrium. So it's a great project. And we'll have a, a second passenger, which is INSAT 3D for the Indian Space Research, Research Organization, which is very, very important for INS Espace. So have a nice evening. Before the end of uh, this VT, I would like maybe to have uh, some of the key players of the party tonight to come with us to make uh, a family picture. So Steve, maybe Jean-Loïc, Mr. Lopatin and Bernard, if you can come just with us to, to have a family picture of what uh, space is about. So, uh, a great day, a great day for everybody there and some really moving speeches. I thought uh, what Steve said about uh, three billion new minds uh, gaining access 
fast access to the internet was very important. And there are Greg Weiler and Steve Collar congratulating each other and uh, John Dick. It's a very, very important day, I think, for the world. And uh, we're going to uh, watch that launch again. There's Stefan Israel, the boss of Arian Space. We're going to watch the launch again in a second. It was a textbook launch, a perfect launch. And as St Stefan Israel said, a flawless launch. A lot of happy faces. A lot of happy faces as those satellites head off. They've got uh, 236 uh, kilometers to climb to their final mission orbit. The mission orbit is the place where they will start their process of uh, beaming fast internet and mobile back down to us folk here on Earth. Frigate's job is not entirely finished. Um, it does go through what we call a passivation phase, so it's still orbiting the Earth. That's going to go on for another few hours. And we're going to watch the launch. Accomplished once again for Ariane Space, O3Bs 1, 2, 3, and 4 are heading out on their journey to their final positions in medium Earth orbit. Congratulations to everyone at O3B for this major achievement, to our friends at Talisalenia Space for their skill and expertise, to all the Russian and European teams at Ariane Space and for Soyuz. Well done to everybody. Big slaps on the back all the way around. Best of luck now to the teams as they take on the job of flying the satellites. From me, Katie Haswell, goodbye.